What's going on everyone? It's Eric with Classic Cards and we got an unorthodox box today, an unorthodox box video. 1986 Baseball Fleer Star Stickers. So they look just like our Dwight Gooden here on the top. 36 packs per box and pretty cool green packs, very bright. Um, limited edition card bottoms, it always is enticing the kids, they're talking about these on the back. So we've got Steve Garvey, Dave Winfield, there's a nice Wade Boggs, you know, some of you guys are going to like that one, and then a Dodgers logo. And if you're wondering, this is this was the wax bottom for every single of these boxes, they didn't have any different four, I'm pretty sure. So. This is the packs, they're very thin. They only have, what, five stickers and a logo. So we do get a logo sticker, team logo sticker. So we're going to open these up, go through the set, see if we can't get them all like we do. There's the empty wax pack and there's the team logo sticker. So see if we can't get um, all of them. I guess there should be 28. And there's 30 cards that feature Hall of Famers. So there's the front, there's the back, very uh, normal Fleer back, I, I would say. I don't know how to describe it. Um, but let's see if these stick. Last time we tested a Fernando Valenzuela, and it doesn't look too bad of a time peeling off or anything like that. We'll go ahead and test it out on paper here. And it's pretty good. A little crease in there, that's my bad, but it definitely sticks. So they are 100% working stickers. We're sorry, Brian or Bryn, Brian. I don't know how to say it, but I do know the B R Y N are initials of his like grandfather or something. So that, that was pretty cool when I learned that. So we'll look for the 30 Hall of Famers. In total, it's a 132 card set. So we got Lance Parrish, Bob Horner, and Bob James. So we started off with no Hall of Famers in that pack. Like I said, 30 Hall of Famers. If you guys are wondering if there is any rookies in this set, there actually technically is for once. There's a Cleveland Indian sticker, that's a nice one. 86, so we'll be looking for Jose Canseco. He is in this set, surprisingly, 1986. Fleer had the wherewithal to include him in their star sticker set. So, yeah, two Mikes, Marshall and Salas, and there's our first superstar. It's a Don Mattingly, and followed by our first Hall of Famer, Lee Smith, there on the Cubs. Very nice. So there's that Don Mattingly for you Don Mattingly fans. Love the back. 159 game streak without an error at first base during the 84 85 season. That's not bad at all. So, kind of put him off to the side. 36 packs of box. Let's see. Unlike previous years, they didn't, uh, Fleer didn't give collectors an album to put these stickers in. They're all, they also made them the normal card size, 3.5 by 2.5. So we won't be doing any album stuff this time, but look out for that on our channel because I'm going to do a lot of album stuff coming up. I actually have recorded a year and just kind of been putting off editing it because it was like five hours of putting stickers in an album. So I'm going to have to speed that up. There's Kirby. So that's our second Hall of Famer. And look at this. I think we're on a roll. Ricky Henderson, Ryan Sandberg. Very cool. That's not a bad one right there. It's pretty young Ryan Sandberg and Robin Yount. So we got Puckett, Henderson, Sandberg, and Ricky Henderson, or Robin Yount in that pack. So the only one that was not Hall of Famer was Oral Hershiser. He wasn't a bad player, that's for sure. Great pitcher. So let's continue on. Let's go a little faster, try to blow through this so we can get through all of these. There's a Dodger sticker. I guess, is that the exact same as the bottom? So kind of similar. Not the same. That one says limited edition checklist on the back. All right. There's Sean, Shawan, Dunstan. He was good. Keith Hernandez. We love Keith. <laughs> 
Jim Rice, he's a Hall of Famer. And there's Tony Fernandez. Rest in peace. And Lamar Hoyt. Alright. So a good amount of Hall of Famers here. Still a lot more to go. There's a lot of them. 30, as I said. And there's a Yankees sticker. Gotta love that one. Gorman Thomas. Can't forget Gorman Thomas. Unfortunately, he's not a Hall of Famer, even though he might might be uh, eligible just because his name. Pete Rose, Juan Samuel, there's Donnie Moore. It's a sad story there. And Mike Davis with the A's. All right. We got a Pirates sticker. So some of them, it looks like they're the pennants, which is pretty cool. It says, look for baseball famous feats. That's, not, that's pretty cool. Ty Cobb won 12 batting titles in 13 years. Uh, yeah, that's a famous feat. I guess all of them have famous feats on the back of them. That's pretty cool. Bill Clem umpired in the majors for 36 years. Yikes. If you, uh, if you didn't like him, that wasn't good, good for you as a pitcher. You're stuck with him. Let's check out the other ones before we go. Honus Wagner led the National League in batting eight times. Red Rolf scored in 18 straight games. Honus Wagner, okay, so that one's the same, but it's a different sticker. All right, so interesting. We'll keep our eyes out for those. Here's Gary Pettis with the Angels. Dave Kingman, Mr. Strikeout King before the uh, really kind of new <laughs> age of baseball where everyone's swinging for the fences. Fernando Valenzuela, Frank Vola, Viola, of course, and Phil Necro, knuckleballer. He is a Hall of Famer. We gotta put him up there. There we go. Add another Hall of Famer to our board. We got Texas here, the Rangers sticker, and on the back we have Big Ed Delante, batting crowns in both major, in both major leagues. All right. Okay, and we got Ron Kittle. He was super hyped. Cecil Cooper, Mario Soto, Mike Schmidt. There's Mike Schmidt. That is a great one right there. Third baseman for the Phillies. And Ron Romanick. Don't really remember his name. And next pack, we got Joe Erslack on the back. Here we have an A's sticker trying to get away. There it is. And our famous feed on the back is Eddie Plank pitched 70 <laughs> shutouts. Look at that stat, 70 shutouts. Ah, pretty safe to say that was never gonna happen again. Frank White, Tony Gwynn, there he is, there's a young one, young Tony. Saw young Sandberg, there's young Tony Gwynn. Tom Hankey and Nolan Ryan. That's a good one right there. And Joe Erslach, I always like those pirates hats with the yellow stripe in them. Kind of looks a little ridiculous, but still pretty cool. So let's grab a whole stack of these packs. Kind of get the box off to the side. Get that out of our way. Dave Rigetti on the back of this one. There's an Oreo sticker. So with 36 packs, it's possible to get all, all the uh, team stickers, even with some duplicates. Juan Beniquez, Steve Carlton. That's a Hall of Famer right there. Looks like after a hard game pitched. And Dave Rigetti, there he is. So we are on our way to about 12 Hall of Famers. Looks like we got 11 right now. I think Paul Mahler is gonna be our 12th. There's a Met sticker. Cy Young won 511 games. Holy cow, that's some nice stats for you right there. Brett Butler. Old Indians Union. Kirk Gibson. There's Chris Brown, not the singer. Britt Burns and Paul Molitor is gonna be our 12th Hall of Famer. We're almost halfway there. We already have a nice screen of players here. Andre Dawson on the back of this one. And we have another one coming up. So the Royals pack right here has the sticker. Lloyd Wayner went 77 games without striking out in 1941. That's, that is insane. Royals pack, there's the George Brett right there. Throw him down. 
We got Mike Scott, another Hall of Famer, Eddie Murray, Rick Russell, and the Hawk, Andre Dawson. Look at those two guys right there. Eddie Murray, Andre Dawson. Throw them on the board. And just like that, we have half of the Hall of Famers. So we've got 15 down so far, only looking for 15. There's a White Sox sticker. Ed Robach pitched a doubleheader shutout in 1908. Wow. So if you're the team and expecting to, you know, get a get a head start on the second game because he absolutely blew through the first game, well, he wasn't backing down the second game. That's pretty crazy. There's Harold Bain, so he's one of the Hall of Famers. We're gonna have to put him down. We're gonna have to layer it up pretty soon because you can't fit all 30 on the screen. So there is our first duplicate, right? Didn't we see the A's one before? Yes, we did. So that one had Eddie Plank on the back. And this one has Jimmy Fox. Batted in 100 or more runs 13 straight years. <laughs> Holy cow, those old stats are absolutely crazy. There's Tom Seaver with the socks right there. Gonna put that down. Johnny Ray, that's actually Johnny Ray, not Barry Bonds. Fred Lynn, Gary Ward, Fred Lynn on the Orioles there, and Hebe Brooks on the Expos. So still looking for our rookie, Jose Canseco. We'll kind of label that as our chase card this time, as well as all the Hall of Famers. There's a Red Sox sticker for all you Red Sox fans. And our back trivia is Fred Tony and Hippo Vaughn pitched a double no-hitter in 1917. A double no hitter. Does that mean that they threw a double header no hitters like the other guy? Or is it just talking about a combined no hitter? Interesting. Double no header hitter. George Brett. So that's our first Hall of Fame duplicate right there. Two George Bretts. And this is going to be our checklist, I'm pretty sure. So this is checklist 1 through 32. There's all the names on the list. You can pause it, check out the whole checklist. And on this one, they put Dwight Gooden and Dale Murphy on there. Not bad. Two good players. Not in the Hall of Fame. I don't know, we'll see if Dale Murphy gets in there one day. Two back-to-back MV, -back MVPs is pretty dominant, but you have to keep it up. And there's a California Angels sticker. Grover Cleveland Alexander hurled 16 shutouts in 1916. That's an easy one to remember. 16 shutouts in 1916. We just saw Gooden, so you know Strawberry's coming right behind him. There he is, doing his Babe Ruth. Burt Blylevin, have to throw him down. Hall of Famer. Masio Garcia and Leon Durham sporting those shades. Sunglasses are just big glasses right there. All right, continuing on. We got the Red Sox, so that's a duplicate sticker and Nat Bladsway hit 422 in 1901. Yeah, 422, that's pretty good. Kirby Puckett, he is a duplicate. So we put him right there. There he is. Not never bad to get duplicate Hall of Famers. We're definitely starting to get duplicates. Ryan Sandberg. Ozzie Smith, we haven't seen him yet. And old poor Bill Buckner, he's still thinking about, it. I think, that uh, ball that went through his legs. <laughs> And uh, Ozzy Smith, there we, there we go. So we're gonna add Ozzy Smith to the board. Screen here. Another Angel sticker and on the back. It says Lloyd Wayner went 77 games without striking out. You've seen that one before. Seen Donnie Moore, there's Juan Samuel, Paul Hershizer, Mike Davis, and Ricky Henderson. So those are all duplicates. Hopefully we'll see the whole set here. We have another Oriole sticker. Odeby McDowell, Pete Rose, Gorman Thomas. All right, so the duplicates now are starting to come to full force for sure. St. Louis sticker. We got Cy Young won 511 games. That is a lot. Nolan Ryan again, duplicate. And all those guys are duplicates right there. Duplicate stickers, stickers, cards. It's kind of 
why I really like these because you could they could be whatever you want they could be cars if you never stick them or they are stickers Gary Carter that's one we haven't seen we'll throw him down Steve Garvey Willie McGee Dennis oil can Boyd and there's Brett Saberhagen on the Royals so two packs until we're halfway and still no Conseco. <laughs> right as you talk about it, right? I have to just say it um, right from the get-go. There's Lazaway with the 422 and like the Expos pennant. And there he is there. That is our chase one, Jose Conseco. Look at that. You can see he had played 29 games with the A's. Batted 302. <laughs> 29 hits, 16 runs, and 96 at-bats. That is a rookie Kinseiko sticker right there. So that was one we were looking for, but of course not a Hall of Famer. We're still gonna have to throw that down. That was a pack we hadn't seen. It's Kent Herbeck, Ron Guidry, and Keith Moreland. Definitely some old names there. And got Reggie Jackson on the back of this one. I don't think we've seen him yet. Met sticker. This is a different one. So we saw the Mets pennant, and now this is the Mets sticker sticker. 70 shutouts with Eddie Plank. Insane. Abe Parker on the reds there. The old big tape Parker. Von Hayes. Slim Von Hayes and Reggie Jackson. There he is. Number 44 put him down. So, so far we should have, what, three times... 18, 19, 20, 21. So nine Hall of Famers that were missing. If I'm counting right, which I rarely do. There's Big Ed Walsh pitched 464 innings in 1908. See, that's just that would not that would not happen today <laughs> with uh, pitch counts and everything. And they they watch pitchers, you know, innings and limited them. Nobody's pitching a bunch of complete games anymore. There's Angel Sticker. Not the pennant, but the sticker. Let's see, and both the batting crowns. So that was saying four. He batted 408 and one in the National League, and then batted 376 in the American League and one. That is pretty, pretty crazy. Another Nolan Ryan, our third Nolan Ryan. So triplicates of Nolan Ryan is never a bad thing. We'll take it. Another one. We got oil cane on the back. Ooh, I like that Cubs pennant sticker with the red background. That's pretty cool. Red Rolf scored in 18 straight games in 1939. Another Gary Carter. Willie McGee is the man, of course. So we got to put Gary Carter down. Duplicate Hall of Famer. If I had to see who we're missing, I, we definitely haven't seen, I don't think, Alan Trammell, Bruce Suter. Giant sticker there. Eddie Collins stole six bases in a game twice in 1912. <laughs> oh man, just, at that point, are you like, somebody please hold them on base, right? <laughs> Pedro Guerrero, and there is another Conseco rookie sticker. Very cool. Another Jose Conseco. We'll throw that down. Duplicates. We got a Don Mattingly and two Jose Conseco rookie stickers. All right, Brewers pennant says Jack Chesbro won 41 games in 1904. Holy cow! Charlie Huff, he is a knuckleballer right there. Ozzy Guillen, there's Robin Yount. We've seen him before. That's a duplicate and another big Dave Parker. Here's one we haven't seen on the back. Jack Morris. Brave sticker, that's an interesting one. There's Jack Chesbro stat again. Jose Cruz, John Tudor, Jeff Reardon, Andre Thornton, and there is Jack Morris. Sweet, so that's one we hadn't seen. Put him down. Should be missing eight now. Have 22 total, should be. White Sox, white sticker. Another double Eddie Collins one. Jesse Barfield, Andy Hawkins, Willie Wilson, Dwight Gooden, and Rich Gedman. All right, and we have our last stack here. So here's the box. Again, the uh, wax box bottoms. There's those three guys. So I guess two more Hall of Famers. 
Wade Boggs and the Dave Winfield. Then you got a checklist right there, the Dodgers. So we'll get that box out of the way and finish this last stack up. Hoping we can see any more Hall of Famers we hadn't yet seen. There's a Dodgers one right there. Seen that one already, as well as the bottom of the box. Alan Trammell, hadn't seen that one. There's Dale Murphy on his own. There we saw him with Dwight Gooden. So we'll throw Alan Trammell down. We've seen Paul Mulder and there's Alan Trammell. There's the black pennant with the Pirates. Deacon Phillip pitched five complete games in a World Series in 1903. Holy cow, he was uh, probably the only pitcher on hand there. And there is the Wade Boggs base card. We haven't seen that one yet. Saw the bottom, the wax box bottom. There is his base one. So we're gonna have to throw that one down. Charlie LeBrant, Dave Smith, Mariano Duncan on the Dodgers. And there's Lou Whitaker, sweet Lou Whitaker, hanging around the batting practice cage there. And a couple more packs. White Sox sticker there. Honus Wagner led the NL in batting eight times. Big Dom Baylor with the Yankees. I always enjoyed him on the Angels. Dave Steve, Jody Davis, Tom Herr. Four more. Bruce Bochy on the back. I hadn't seen that one. Maybe it's a new pack here. Another White Sox one. Hack Wilson with 190 ribbies in 1930. Yikes. Rod Carew. So Mr. New Heart there. We have a unique Hall of Famer we haven't seen. And this is definitely a new pack. Dave Winfield. Look at that young Bruce Bochy. You guys will tell me if that's the uh, real Bruce Bochy or not. I can't even tell because he's so young there. If it is him and Nick, there's Dave Winfield. He's like 6'6". Yep, he is 6'6". Woo, holy cow. Put that down, so we've got two more. Rod Crew, Dave Winfield. At this point, I'm not even sure. We'll finish up these three packs and see if we missed anybody. There's an Indian sticker again. Hank Gowdy hit 545 in the 1914 World Series. All right, Willie Hernandez. Scott Geralt, he wasn't sure that they had taken his pitcher yet. And there's Fisk, Carlton Fisk. Very cool, first pudge, I guess. Throw that down, and I think maybe we need, what, one more? 29. I think it might be Bruce Suter. So we'll be looking out for Bruce Suter. There's the Texas Rangers. Walter Johnson won 38-1-0 games. That's pretty crazy. All right. We got Jack Clark. Oh, we actually hadn't seen this one yet. Cal Ripken Jr. And there's Cal Ripken couple years under his belt at that point of course very cool we hadn't seen that one Dan Quisenberry and Tim Raines alone there it is so I told you guys I always count wrong <laughs> we got two more Hall of Famers yet there if we don't find Bruce Suter in this pack I know we have not seen them all so that'd be unfortunate there's the A's Joe Oscar and Leon Cador pitched a 26 inning tie in 1920. That is a serious pitcher's duel right there. So we got Phil Necro, we've seen that one before. Sean Dunson, Keith Hernandez, seen that. Jim Rice and Tony Fernandez. So unfortunately, we know we won't see the entire set. We did get these extra uh, duplicate Hall of Famers. So if we count, we have 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29. So we literally just missed that one that I had my eye on the whole time, which was uh, Bruce Suter. So I told you I don't really count right every time, and we did get a Bruce Suter. So I'm sure I even said it, I acknowledged it, and uh, didn't put him in the Hall of Famer pile. So I ended up getting the full set I wanted to put it together in a binder to show you guys. It is when it's numbered out, listed in alphabetical order. So that means Harold Baines is number one in the set. Baylor, Blylevin, so B's, so George Brett, 
awesome to see this set put together. All 132 cards, not missing a single one. There's the Jose Canseco, that rookie sticker. Very cool, Cecil Cooper, Gary Carter. Go to the D's, Andre Dawson. Super cool. I don't know what I'm gonna have to, maybe I have to cut out the ones on the bottom of the box and put those in here. It's kind of an extra four, but this is the main set in alphabetical order. You can see Keith Hernandez, Willie Hernandez right next to each other. The H's, K's, Dave Kingman, Reggie Jackson. There's Mattingly right there. So super cool, not missing a single one. We got all 30 Hall of Famers, even Bruce Suter and all. We'll get there, we'll show him when we get there. Phil Necro, there's Tim Raines. Quisenberry, probably the only guy with the Q. Yep, Puckett, Quisenberry, and Raines. There's Ripken, Pete Rose. This is the 1986 Fleer Star stickers. There's Sandberg, Schmidt, and here is the one that uh, I thought we missed, but we did get him. Bruce Suter right there, right next to Daryl Strawberry. Ozzy Smith on the same page. Lee Smith on the same page. Very cool. It's Brent Smith or Brian Smith, Dave Smith, Lee Smith, Ozzy Smith. So, very cool. Alan Trammell, Lou Whitaker, and there is the final six right there with that checklist at the very end. Ends with Winfield, Robin Yount. He actually is the last Hall of Famer. Um, in alphabetical order, if you list all the Hall of Famers, not just the ones in this set, Yount is the very last name. So all 132, I hope you uh, guys enjoyed that. As always, keep collecting, care about the cards or stickers or whatever they are. Most importantly, care for each other. We'll catch you guys tomorrow on our next video. See you later.